like your views on running martingales, as I've seen them used by both English and Western riders on the trail. Do they serve a practical purpose, such as the safety of horse and rider, or are they an admission to failure in properly training your horse? Well, Tricia, thank you so much for your question. So, do I use running martingales from time to time? The answer is yes. If I'm on one of my cow horses and I'm going to do, go down the fence, or I've got a horse that's been a little pushy in the face or wants to get its head up a little high, I'll use a running martingale. And I might just use it for two or three days and then take it off. What a running martingale is, is it lets you run the rein through a ring. And depending on where you set the ring, you can either tighten it up and lower the ring or lengthen it and have the ring come up higher towards the horse's throat latch. Basically what happens is wherever the ring is set, if the horse's mouth goes up above that, the rein will pull from the bit down to the ring back to your hands. Where if the ring wasn't there, this would be the angle that you would pull on. If you lower the ring, the, the angle will go from the bit down to the ring, back up to your hands. So just like anything, Teresa, Teresa, anything can be abused and anything can be used incorrectly. So a running martingale, when adjusted correctly and used correctly, is just like any other tool. It can be a very helpful tool to train a horse. Just like any other tool, if it's used incorrectly or overused or abused, it can do damage to a horse and not uh, train the horse very well. So, you know, it, you know, it, it's the same old thing. Do, do guns kill people or do people kill people? I'm pretty sure a gun has never picked itself up and shot somebody. Somebody pulls that trigger. So I don't think gun's the problem. I think the idiot behind the gun's the problem. So, it, you know, can Martin Bales be a problem? Actually, no. But how they're used will either benefit the horse or not benefit the horse. So I will use them from time to time. I'm not just like I'll use draw reins from time to time. If I'm working on lead changes and I want to get the horse a little more round during a lead change, I'll put on draw reins for two or three days and ride with draw reins. But anytime I'll use draw reins or a running martingale, I usually don't do it for more than three days in a row. And it's not something I want to kind of rely on. It's not, I don't want to feel like it's a crutch. I don't want to feel like it's something that I have to have or I can't train my horse, okay? So uh, I don't like feeling like I have a crutch that unless I have this piece of equipment, I can't get the horse trained. 